What's going on there, folks? Good evening. Uh, kind of laid out here. It is the Earthmaster uh, with an update video on this Saturday evening, March 12th, 2022. It's about 8.50 p.m. California time out here. And the uh, latest Quake, a 2.2 earthquake showing up around the, uh, looks like the Algeria area into the uh, region there of the uh, Earthquake 3D globe. Let's go ahead and check out uh, some activity going on out here on this Saturday night. I know it is kind of late, but better late than never uh, for an update, no doubt, uh, here on the USGS map, showing a 3.5 earthquake for the latest quake here on the globe, or at least on the map, around the Pecos, Texas area. Uh, they did see some movement out there as well uh, throughout the rest of the day, including a couple other, th at least a 3.3 and a 2.5 uh, earthquake striking within that region just to the uh, northwest of the Pecos, Texas area today. Uh, somewhat deep earthquake activity as well, 10 kilometers for that uh, 2.5. Uh, the rest of the uh, plains area showing uh, 1.8 near Wakita. If you've never been to Wakita area, it's a beautiful little town. No kind of dead ends out there, but uh, they got the uh, Twister Museum out there been out there uh, it was a couple years ago checking out the uh, tornado um, items from the uh, movie Twister pretty cool little store out there if you uh, ever get a chance go out to the uh, Wakita Oklahoma area but anyway a uh, 1.8 shown up in the uh, Wakita trend and gas gas and oil field out here uh, kind of curious to see what this looks like here on the satellite view uh, where this 1.8 striking uh, just to the south of Wakita, it looks like, one kilometer south-southeast. And uh, there's no doubt, I remember seeing a whole bunch of operations out here. But uh, it's definitely a major uh, oil and injection well operations out here in the northern part of Oklahoma. Uh, the rest of Oklahoma looks pretty quiet throughout the New Madrid zone as well. Uh, eastern part of the country quite as well. No no shaking going on out there in North, North Carolina tonight. One little earthquake out here in the Gulf of Mexico. We don't see too much earthquake out here uh, in this, too much earthquake activity out here in this region. Uh, northwest of Cuba, 4.6 striking uh, earlier today at, at uh, 13 kilometers. I don't recall the last time I actually ever seen an earthquake here in this region. I uh, kind of want to check out the activity map here and uh, see what we got in terms of, uh, hold on a second here, uh, in terms of historical earthquake activity, I don't think it's going to let me here, but uh, yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've seen an earthquake out here in this area of the Gulf of Mexico. It does happen, but uh, man, it just doesn't happen all too often uh, in that area. Pretty deep as well into the Gulf. Uh, some movement up here in Puerto Rico as well. Southwest edge of Puerto Rico, uh, the uh, region here. And up here around the Puerto Rico Trench, some activity over the last 24 hours uh, into South America. Uh, looks like a little bit of activity kicking up here. Nothing significant. Did have a 5.1 earlier into the Chile area. Pretty shallow earthquake there at 10 kilometers for that 5.1. South Sandwich Trench did see some activity earlier today with a 5.2 and a 4.9 into that region. Uh, let's check out the West Coast activity. Some earthquake activity here in the Pyramid Lake, Nevada region. A couple uh, microquakes kicking off there within the last hour it looks like. One little lone earthquake here, a 2.1 to south of Eureka, southern end of the Cascadia. And this is no doubt a Cascadia subduction zone earthquake at 22.7 kilometers down dip into that area. Uh, not a whole lot going on to the rest of central California. Uh, some movement outside of Ridgecrest across the uh, region here to the north of the Garlock Fault structure. A couple twos and some ones kicking off earlier today. Uh, some activity lighting, lighting up here on the map with uh, some red circles showing up here within the last hour. 
along the Elsinore Fault System and also off of the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, a little bit of swarming, kind of see the grouping of activity up here hugging the uh, San Andreas Fault Zone here today. Kind of look, we can kind of look for that for uh, increased regional pressure. That's kind of what we're seeing here in the southern end of the San Andreas Fault Zone to, to uh, at least today with this activity on the brunt of uh, the western side of it. Uh, let's see, Nevada, uh, aside from that activity up north, uh, some movement north of Las Vegas out here around the Alamo area of Nevada. Oh man, getting some deep earthquake activity out here along the west coast uh, and uh, inland. I've noticed that over the last couple weeks or so, a major increase in deeper movement along the entire section here of the uh, the states it's been pretty crazy uh, not a whole lot going on through the Pacific Northwest according to the USGS some activity up here in Idaho around the Stanley Idaho area Yellowstone National Park not shown any seismograph uh, or at least earthquakes tonight we will check that out uh, right now here on the Yellowstone uh, overview and uh, indeed it does look pretty quiet uh, things looking pretty bleak. Not a whole lot of activity going on here at Yellowstone National Park tonight at all. Uh, looking back at the map here, I'm going to go ahead and cross over here across the Pacific into the big island of Hawaii. Southeast flank pretty active. Uh, at least one earthquake within the last hour, 1.9. Looking at 14 earthquakes or so within the, within the big island right there. So Also 1.7 there in the uh, Mauna Loa area. Uh, what else we got here? Kermadec Island, seen a 5.2 uh, earlier today. Pretty shallow earthquake and some uh, scattered movement throughout the Papua New Guinea and the Vanuatu area. And also around the Java Trench here, uh, 5.3. So we've seen a couple of fives kick off today. No major earthquake activity to report to report at all um, across the globe. But uh, what we got up here in France? That was an older earthquake here from this morning. Uh, 4.5 striking up there in the France area. Uh, let's see what else we got. Tremor activity tonight was pretty pretty calm after a. Uh, couple last days of pretty busy activity we've dropped down to about 31 epicenters of trimmer and it's uh, kind of right there towards the Oregon area south of Eugene north of Roseburg but uh, this is down dip movement here's the M energy release here on the right side with this list pretty dramatic drop uh, drop of trimmer 31 epicenters tonight I believe last night we had about 288 right oh 266 uh, and that was kind of spread out into northern california and up here around the vancouver island ranges so uh yeah quite the drop off of activity um the usgs i kind of want to show you guys the uh mount st helens activity still nothing really shown up within the last day but uh, man i tell you what you still go over here and check out the seismograph stations and, and there's definitely some activity still continuing here uh, not being reported once again from the uh, any of the agencies here that uh, monitor the data Let's go back to the previous day and I can show you uh, hopefully there we go thought they were gonna block me there from it uh, not as active over the last 24 hours but it's definitely still some activity there's a very well-defined earthquake here at Mount St. Helens and a, uh, a couple of smaller ones up here to the uh, uh, north side of this chart. A little red one right there, but uh, definitely still seeing some activity uh, not being reported. Maybe it's too small in the likings of the uh, seismologists there, but still it's activity and that's what we're reporting on uh, tonight. Uh, continued activity there at Mount St. Helens. Just some, uh, some very small microquakes in that area. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, did have that 5.1 earthquake up here in Alaska, north of the Cook Islands er, or the uh, Cook Inlet area. There's the uh, Cook Inlet that kind of struck up here 
uh, to the north region at about 88.4 kilometers. Some scattered um, deep earthquake activity within the last hour in the red circles. And uh, even one way up here into the Beaver, Alaska area. Uh, aside from that, uh, man, I tell you why, it's just a little on the quiet side for major earthquake activity. We haven't seen six pointers. Oh, we, well, it's, yeah, I better not speak that too soon because I think we may see something here very, uh, very quickly. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, solar weather chart here. See what we got coming up. We got a G2 storm coming up here pretty soon uh, on the 14th. So look to that. 80% uh, chance higher latitudes, 35% chance at the mid latitudes. I've seen some storming. Pretty good. Uh, uh, not a major storm, but uh, it's kind of uplifted or elevated, if you will. Um, let's see here. Flaring activity looks a little bit on the elevated side from this morning. 75% chance of a C flare with M flare at 25 and X flare raised from 1 to a 5% chance. And uh, I'm sure it's coming from the sun, uh, sunspot up, sunspots up here, 2965. Uh, kind of looking a little dynamic here when it comes to the uh, possibility of throwing out a flare. 2960 is there, but uh, it doesn't have the uh, unstable magnetic fields there with it uh, that could produce a, a significant flare late or at least the last flare was this one right here the uh, m2.2 oh coming up on about two days or so ago so uh, yeah we'll see what happens when this g2 storm uh, kicks in here and we'll see the uh, no doubt the kp indexes rise up to around six as predicted other than that, uh, don't forget to set your clocks ahead a one hour, folks. I, uh, I'm kind of a big fan of when it stays lighter um, in the evening because I tend to do a lot of outdoor activities. Um, it doesn't matter if it's winter time, summertime. Um, I'm always outside. It's kind of kind of my deal. I like being outside. I don't like being cooped up inside all day. It's just not my thing. Um, so I kind of like it when it stays lighter, longer, um, in the summertime. But, uh, yeah, just, just a friendly reminder. Don't forget to uh, spring forward, so to speak, here tonight. We lose an hour of sleep. And uh, it is what it is. I'll just sleep in a little bit longer tomorrow, I think. So, <laughs> all right, folks, have a good night. Um, hope everyone enjoys their Saturday evening and uh, stay safe out there, folks.